Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today is another episode of Too Small, the show in which we take an average everyday build and say, hey, that's far too small, how about we make it ten times bigger? And this episode is actually a bit of an exception, because we aren't just making it ten times bigger, we're making it about a hundred times bigger. I mean, seriously, this is an absolute beast of a build. I like to call it the Lightning Brewer, and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. It brews potions incredibly quickly, so let's take a closer look. So in front of us, we've got three separate modules. Each one of these modules will do a different potion. The first one does Potion of Swiftness. So if you just check this chest and then hit this button, you will see that starts working. We'll come back to that in a couple seconds. Over here, we've got Potion of Regeneration. Once again, check the chest and then hit the button. And finally, over here, we've got Potion of Fire Resistance. Check the chest and hit the button. Now, if we just head back over to the other side, we should begin to see that this chest is going to be filling up fairly quickly. It's almost done. All of the potions are flowing in, and there we go. We have got ourselves an entire double chest worth of items, and no more than that. If we go over here, we should have the same thing. Yep, full double chest almost. And finally, if we go over to the last one, we have also got almost a full double chest of potions. Extremely quick. Now, you may be sat there thinking, how on earth have you managed to make it work so quickly? These potions take 60 seconds to brew. There is no way that you've managed to make it that quick. But well, if we just head inside, I'll quickly explain how I've done all of the mechanics behind this one. So first off, we have got 18 potion brewing stands next to one another. Each one of these produces three potions, which means that we get 54 potions in total, which is just about enough to fill a full double chest. Now, if you just take a look inside these brewing stands, you'll probably be quite surprised to see that we actually have some potions already brewed in here. And that is because when we hit the button, these potions are actually released out and dropped into the chest, and then a new set of potions is immediately brewed straight afterwards, ready for the next time that you hit the button. So essentially, it's preparing for the next time that you come along and try and use it. It's pretty cool. Some of the extra functionality that I've added into the system is the ability to tell when certain items are running low, because with a system this big, it's quite hard to keep track of what items you've got where and how many items you have inside the system. So if we just head inside here, you can see that this chest is running a little bit low, and if this hopper runs out of items, then this comparator will turn off, turning on this torch, which means that this redstone torch activates, and that says, hey, there's at least one chest in there that doesn't have any sugar in it, and you should probably head over there and fix that. So we'll just chuck that back into the chest, and hopefully our light should turn off. Same thing applies for your redstone, your nether warts, and also the water bottles. Now we actually have bumper water bottle storage, because of course they don't stack, so all of these double chests are filled up with them, so you should have plenty for plenty of brewing sessions. Now one thing that I am going to mention is with the current configuration, we only have three items going into the system, but if you have slightly more complicated potions that require four items, then that is entirely possible. All you have to do is extend this a little bit further upwards, drop the items into the main hopper string, and that will sort all of that out. Now, as always, if you do want to take a closer look at the redstone behind this thing, perhaps have a fiddle around with it yourself, or just brew hundreds upon hundreds of potions, because I can promise you it really is quite good fun, then of course there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. Just chuck it into your Minecraft world saves folder and have a little bit of fun. But anyway, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.